Hi and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Today's video is all about baby George. We'll be putting up his new pram which is the Bugaboo Fox 3. If you like this video please give it a like and if you're new here don't forget to press the subscribe button and let's get on with it. Oh and by the way this is Reese. Hello. And this is baby George. Mm. Aww. Okay let's go. Here we have all of the items laid out for us to have a quick look through. Reese is just starting to unpack some of the items. It didn't take that long to take everything out of the box, but I was looking through the instruction manual and it took me uh, a little while to try and locate how to put the pram together. For a little while, all I could see was the beginning part of how to get started but I couldn't actually find the page where it told me where to start putting the wheels and how to put them on so I was getting a bit frustrated with that so after Reese finished sorting out those bits and bobs he came and had a little look with me and finally I found it was at the back not at the front of the book where it shows you what to get started with. So we located that and then we were able to put the wheels on. George is spectating, <laughs> making sure that we get his pram together nicely for him. Just having a bugaboo pram before, we would know what we're doing with putting it together. But this is the bit that goes at the bottom, the shopping basket, and trying to get it the right way round was a bit of a pain. And then there's this one part which I found really quite tricky, and it was just hooking these little bits on um, in the middle of the chassis and at the end where the feet go. I found it quite tricky. So putting the pram together did feel like it took longer than it should have done, but I think that was just because it was quite hard to push the little hooks in, otherwise we would have done it a lot quicker. It just seemed to drag things out a bit. We're looking at putting the carry cot part together. We're just going through all of the bags with the bits and bobs in, trying to locate parts for the carry cot. But what we didn't realize was they had actually put the carry cot together for us. The wooden bit was already in place. The fabric was already covering the frame, which really was quite a handy thing. But all we had to do then was just expand the fabric by pulling it down and locking some big plastic bits underneath to secure it, to make sure it's strong and it won't collapse. And then it's just a matter of putting it onto the chassis of the pram. Um, there are instructions of how to put the carry cot together. If you had it in pushchair mode and then you decided, actually, I wanted it back in carry cot mode, or if you went on to sell it, then there would be instructions on how to put it together that way because the fabrics change. It's one frame for the carry cot and it's the same frame for the pushchair version. You just swap the fabrics over. So have the instructions together for both of them was a really good idea. In all fairness, I don't think it's actually taken that long to put the pram together. Reese is just sorting out the hood here, which you would attach to the carry cot. And then when it's in pushchair mode, you then take it off of the carry cot and you can just attach it to the pushchair.
And here it is, the finished article. I think it looks lovely. I like the fact that it's all in black. Last time we had a gray um, carry cotton seat with the black hood, but I think all black looks really nice. And the frame and the wheels are also black because you can get the wheels in white. What I'm doing here with the brake is a one tap um, release and brake, which is pretty good actually. Last time you had to lift it up with your foot. George is trying out his carry cot and the mattress is so soft and smooth. And he's actually quite a big baby and I'm pretty sure it will last him up until he's sitting. So hopefully it will last him up to six months. We've just come back from our walk trying out the Bugaboo Fox 3 and I was not disappointed in the slightest. It was it was brilliant actually. Um, because it's an all-terrain pram, we tried it on the main road, well on the path, not the actual road, and then we went down a country lane which was quite knobbly and bobbly and lumps of mud here and there and it went over it brilliantly. We've already got a Bugaboo for the twins, we've got the donkey I think it's called and that was absolutely fantastic and I really liked the wheels and the way it felt when I was pushing the pram and I was hoping that the Fox 3 would feel the same and it does it feels lovely it's a really nice smooth ride for the kids you get some prams that actually feel like a toy pram this one felt really really nice and I was really pleased with it so I'm going to give it a really big thumbs up <laughs> So far, we've only tried it in carry cot mode because George is too young to go in the, the seat version. But given what we've experienced from the pram so far, I guess the seat mode is going to be just as good as the donkey. I don't think we have to worry about that at all. The handle height is um, it's actually really good. We're quite tall. I'm just under six foot. Reese is six three and the handle height comes up. A really decent height so yeah no bad backs I really liked it what do you think Reese? Uh, yeah I was pretty happy with it as well um, assembly was fairly straightforward um, I don't think there was too many issues or problems uh, the wheels I think are the key um, looking at other prams we've tested in the shop and things like that is that the wheels are I think they're foam filled or, yes. or rubber um, they won't puncture. rather than rather than sort of plastic uh, so they, they don't pick up every single lit of, bit, little bit of grit so you just have a nicer nicer ride to it so yeah i'm happy with it as our second pram purchase um can't fault it currently so yeah very happy also thumbs up <laughs> and i'm pretty sure george was very happy because he fell asleep and he, he stayed asleep. He stayed he? asleep for the whole time. So he missed yeah. out on his first pram ride in it, but he really enjoyed it. So we're going to give it how much out of 10? Uh, I'd give it, in comparison to the other prams that we've tried, I'd say a 9 out of 10. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, Bugaboo. Good work. If you liked this video and you found it useful, please give it a like. And if you are new here and this is the first time watching any of our videos, don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic videos. <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now. Ciao.